Hello everyone and welcome to another beta update. Uh, this week we got a, we got a little bit of testing done. It was a nice calm testing day. Let me uh, jump over to the desktop <clears throat> with Project Skyring here. If you search for uh, Trello and Project Skyring in Google, you'll be able to get here. Uh, this is our task list and kind of what we're doing. So if you want to keep track of where we're at, this is the easiest way to do that. Uh, we just finished beta episode 12 over Twitch. Uh, basically, we tested a few things, made sure they were actually fixed. Did find two issues. One is that the, the player couldn't enter the river. We fixed that during the show, so that's out of the way. We also found a very interesting bug uh, where really long rivers caused kind of Game Maker, the engine that I'm using to make the game, uh, which is this. Should probably get that loaded up. Uh, to mistakenly kind of think that uh, there was an infinite loop problem. Uh, the only problem, the, the, the reason it's happening is because uh, I make procedurally generate tiles for people to walk on in the game. And I start with kind of a base tile and then start switching the properties by changing the tiles to different objects as we go. And the problem is if I do that more than like 30 times with the river in one kind of processing step, Game Maker probably thinks that um, I've got a problem. Uh, it doesn't. It's not. It's not a problem. It's it's intentional. But uh, there's something that's probably trying to prevent me from uh, hanging myself, and I have to work around that by basically limiting the length of the rivers. I think. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, but other than that, it seems like the artifact bug that we found at the end of last week's episode that seems to be fixed and done. So I think once I limit the length of the rivers, if I can get that out of the way. No bugs. Uh, we were bug-free starting the show. Uh, we found two bugs, fixed one of them, so we've got one bug that we have to start by next week. Uh, but we're basically getting the game uh, skyring into a bug-free state, so we're, we're doing well. And then all we have left is kind of graphic stuff and then brushing up some of the sound effects, and we will be uh, pretty much done with the game and able to release it. So we're, we're very close. We're very close. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to take a little while to load up, uh, so I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording, <laughs> maybe. No, I'll keep going. Uh, but let's go through this kind of side list while it's doing its thing. It shouldn't take too long to, to load up. It's just the first time when Game Maker goes uh, loading up stuff. It takes a little while because it has to convert sounds and stuff, but I think, I think it'll be done soon. But yeah, we've got the logo, which we basically need as kind of like the box art for the game, uh, basically for for sites, for splash screens, for things like that. It can't just be like the text, Project Skyring, that's not enough. It does have to actually have the character in it, so I do have to figure out how to draw that and everything else. Want to, want to be as close as possible, at least to the great sprite work that 123Gas is doing for me. I want to be as close to that as possible so that it actually does represent what the game looks like. Whether I go with a more abstract kind of logo with just like hex, kind of a hex pattern or something like that, kind of hard to tell. Probably going to be hard for me with my art skills to draw a proper character, so I probably should avoid that if I do want people to actually uh, be interested in the game. And uh, the sound effects brush up, most of the sound effects are fine. I've been kind of tweaking them as I go if I find anything that's annoying, but you know, it's probably worth listening through them all just to make sure that the, the levels are balanced and there's nothing too weird. Uh, and then after that, it's just making a trailer, uh, kind of getting rid of the debug stuff, and then it's good, it's good to go. So we should be okay, unless something really bad happens this month. Uh, knock on, well, fake wood, I guess this table is. <laughs> knock on fake wood. Uh, we should be able to release the game this month, and hopefully for next month, starting a, start on a new project. New year, new project. Would be nice. And I think it's almost ready to go. Let's see, anything else that's worth mentioning? I guess, yeah, from overtime last week, we did fix a few things, like the things that came up during the show. Uh, flickering, not being able to walk on tiles, ground enemies acting strange, you know, all these things we kind of fixed and got out of the way. Uh, but let's show the actual game. Also tested this, the news ticker. Uh, it's been in there forever, because we had it back in Project Spaghetti, but we just never actually uh, set it up. But now this is actually fine and working. And what we've been doing, doing uh, during the, the actual live show is trying to collect all of these artifacts to make sure that there's no kind of bugs hidden in here. And we do that by just basically going into the game and exploring. Uh, so just to kind of ex show you what the exploring is like. 
Uh, I use this kind of map, the debug map, here in the lower left corner, to uh, kind of check the whole grid. I follow the purple lines to where artifacts are. Obviously in the final game none of this stuff is here. This is what the final game looks like. This is all for me. And yeah, I can use my boomerang to blow up mountains. So it saves me a little, little effort there. Shortcut. <laughs> so yeah, basically I find where there's going to be artifacts, collect them, and just kind of go on like that. Like for example, that one we just collected was a desert one, the sealed flask, and just kind of trying to fill out this whole grid and see how that goes. Also uh, trying to collect these keys as I go as well, just to make sure those are still working. Uh, once that test is done, then it's pretty safe to say that everything's working fine, at least on my system. <laughs> It's hard. It's hard being like a solo developer to, to ensure that your game is bug-free. There, there's probably no way I can actually make that guarantee. I'll, I'll be upfront with you. Uh, but, you know, I, I want to get it as clean as I possibly can. And then, you know, probably the first couple of people who pick up the game are probably going to be people that watch the show and know what's going on. So hopefully they won't, uh, <laughs> won't be too harsh if they do find a bug. But, you know, with Project Spaghetti last, last year's game, uh, you know, viewers like Pandavids and stuff who picked up the game and uh, gave bug feedback and stuff like that. I, I was pretty good about fixing the bugs as we went, kind of updating the versions and making sure the game was clean. Now that game is uh, is bug free, at least I hope it's bug free. And I'll probably go through the same pro process with Project Skyring. But that's where we're at right now. Uh, let me jump off the desktop and give you the times because I would recommend watching the live show. That's that's where we have the fun. Uh, that is done. Basically Sundays, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Japan time, which translates to Saturdays, 3 to 5 p.m. Pacific, 4 to 6 Mountain, 5 to 7 Central, 6 to 8 Eastern. If you're in the UK, it's Saturday, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. If you're in Japan with me, it's 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Sunday morning. If you're in Australia, which is kind of the same time zone area as Japan, it starts anywhere from 8 to noon, depending on where you live. And if you're in New Zealand, I think it starts at noon. Uh, but we do always announce what we're doing through Twitter, so follow Btengu, BT, Yenjiud. To keep track of when the live show starts or episodes go up or follow us on Twitch or YouTube. And of course, you can always check out bluetango.com. Uh, this is another beta update. We'll have another uh, episode next week and I'll have another update then. Until then, see you next time. <laughs>